All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make this quick video showing you how to change a lock on a toolbox. I took this out of a truck I just sold and uh, I plan to sell it. So I'm gonna go ahead and polish it up, make it shine again. And um, I figured if the lock works on it, it will probably be worth more money. You know, maybe 25, 30, 40, $50 more. Cause first thing everyone's gonna ask is does it lock? It has a lock, but I do not know where the key is. So, let me go ahead and show you guys. On the inside, it's going to have this little stub. And this ring is going to be sitting on here. And you want to check out what size it is and what direction it's facing. That way when you replace it, it'll all be good. But this nut right here, let me go ahead and put this on. This nut right here snugs up onto here to hold on to the side. And uh, in that tight hole, it was hard to get anything. You can't get a wrench or anything. So what I did was I took a screwdriver and a hammer and I tapped on it, made a little notch. And then I would use a screwdriver to push that notch and then tap the next spot over. And, and I turned it two or three times until it was loose. And then I undid it by hand. And uh, this, lock from this brand right here DZ which I probably could have just got a key from this number but it probably still would have cost more but the new lock was $99 so what I did was picked up a new one for five dollars from Home Depot and it comes with a few different size pieces and what I'm going to do is put the smallest one on there if it's still too long. Then I'll either drill this out and use this piece or I'll just cut the other one down. So let me go ahead and get all that ready and I'll show you guys how to do that. Alright, this took about 25 minutes all together from start to finish fooling around with that other piece. And some kind of way here in 10 minutes it can go from daylight to complete darkness almost. Um, So, as you can see, it worked. I just had to take this piece off. So it was in my way to tighten the other end of this up. I mean, you could have if you wanted to take time, but I realized that it had these little one eight, um, one eight rivets in it, and I have some pop rivets, so I drilled them out. I'm gonna put it back on. But five dollar fix for anybody that wants to add a lock to one that they've lost the key to or the lock mechanism doesn't work. And uh, like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and I got some stuff that's gonna get all this and shine it back up, make it all look like this top part has been covered, and then I'll go ahead and sell it. And like I said, imagine people are going to ask me if it locks. So it's probably worth $25, $40, $50 more, you know. In in working condition than just a box that doesn't lock as someone would like to keep their things from being stolen. So I'll have a short version of this and then I'll have all the videos together. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't put together a blooper video of me cursing this thing out and all the stupidity they make of putting stuff in the way but appreciate you guys checking it out and hopefully it helps somebody out y'all take it easy